say that it sounded like I heard something fall. <laughs> but this is a big house. When that happens, I never know what it is or where it is. everybody it is 11 51 I think a.m. or something 11 16 I got my numbers mixed up anyway big surprise happy Halloween everybody it's October 31st and yes in case you didn't hear that we have crazy pants <laughs> for the night we kept her last night as I said in last week's vlog so we took a our time getting ready this morning having our coffee and stuff and now we're going to take her out for a walk before lunch see what we can see it's a beautiful day out it's in the mid 50s i have my coat on but that's just mostly because it's been a little bit windy and the wind is cold so we'll see i'll probably be hot in no time for that but anyway all right in the meantime we are continuing to work on the new youtube channel I'm getting that straight and putting processes in place and yeah, it's all good. I'll be Still back. I love the skeleton house. I want somebody to decorate my house that way. It's so cool. Hold on. I mean, I think every year I show you all pictures and every year they add more skeletons. Now they've got the big giant one. It's just, I mean, I need more skeletons and more pumpkins. He says, no, I don't, but I do. It's so cool. Anyway, on to the next. Got a bunch more videos transferred over to the new YouTube channel for the patrons and um, then I was making my bone broth in the kitchen and I've been meaning to for a while pull out one or more of the kitchen cabinet drawers and make sh I usually at the old house I used to do it all the time to make sure to catch things that maybe fall behind the drawer um, and I don't know if I've ever done it here to be honest um, and I just found out I haven't yeah, I got confirmation of that. Anyway, um, behind one of the drawers, I found a bunch of plastic Ziploc bags and a little bit of something, spilled something. Lysol cleaner with bleach, got it right up, so no fear there, it's all cleaned. Um, and behind another drawer, um, I they were clean, the other drawers behind, um, but I found some medical paperwork for one of the former owners. And yeah, so anyway, we made sure to dispose of everything properly and I'm gonna now drink my bone broth because I'm not sure how I got on that little journey. But anyway, Bob is outside trying to do something with all the pine needles, front yard and backyard. I did the front yesterday. Y'all saw it in the last vlog, but yeah, we, ne we live next to the woods. It's just a disaster all the time in this time of year. It's just, okay, yeah, it's a thing. All right, I'll be back. It's been a weird day, I already said that. And no, stay. We live next to the woods. Besides deer and raccoons and things, we also get coyotes. And they're a little bit very uh, friendly. And they get kind of close. Hang on. But he was literally right there by where Bob is standing. I don't know if that's good or bad. I have a feeling it's bad. <laughs> and that's the second time in as many days he's been seen that close to our house. Now they're meat eaters. So I'm pretty sure he's after the cats. 
The neighbor has three cats, plus there's a bunch of feral cats, and I'm pretty sure he's after the cats. He's not after the bull I leave out there because that bull's got corn in it. It does not have meat in it. The only other thing he could be interested in is the grand dog, Lily. Well, we're keeping her inside. She doesn't come in the front yard anyway, but we're keeping her inside right now. Keep the dog inside. Yeah. Anyway, coyotes. Yes. Evidently, we have a whole pack of them that lives in the woods next door. A family. A family. Call They're called a pack, I think. It's a pack of wolves. I think coyotes are packed too. Anyway, if you guys know, leave them in the comments below. <laughs> It is 10 18 a.m. Monday morning, November 1st. Um, I am obviously upstairs in the art room. I'm continuing work on the new YouTube channel and um, loading videos over there and also doing some work on the old YouTube channel, the public YouTube channel. I found a bunch of videos that were unlisted or listed as private some of which I don't remember doing that to them, so I'm not sure why they were like that over there. So I'm, you're gonna see a massive influx of video um, suddenly going public and probably be overwhelmed and like, what the hell is she doing? I wanna unsubscribe, that's too much. Please don't do that. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to. <laughs> you can catch up later, all of that stuff. So anyway, um, I am also, now I have to edit the vlog. I only have 48 minutes of clips, which is surprising because um, I thought it was more than that because of the wedding and everything. I am going to do some editing to respect people's privacy. That's going to be fun. Hey guys, it's just after six and we're headed out for a walk. Did you all know that there's a limit to how many videos you can upload to your YouTube channel in one day? I didn't know that. I mean, it's a big limit. And guess what? I hit the limit on the new channel for the patrons and supporters. <laughs> and I'm not done yet. So <laughs> I have to try again tomorrow. Uh... Good morning, people. It is 9.53 a.m. Tuesday, November 2nd. Why I want to say Sunday to you, I have no idea. What is my hair doing this morning? Holy cow. All right, as you can tell, we're in the car. <laughs> Tuesday has become errand day, which I'm okay with. If I have time, sometimes I stop at my favorite thrift store in town because it is also senior discount day and I do qualify. I don't know that I'm gonna do that today. I'm not just not feeling it. And I have a lot of other things to do. YouTube is not letting me upload any new videos to the new channel yet. I have to wait 24 hours. <laughs> it hasn't quite been that yet. It let me upload a few more. So I'll just do a few at a time until I get it done. Um, but I have a bunch of old Crazy Island family video, just my part portion, um, that I'm gonna upload to the channel for patrons and supporters, so yeah. Anyway, I need to drop off this today, expired inhalers. I also need to take my shoes in for repair. I also need to wait, hold it, wait for it. Ugh. Hang on to this in the front seat in case any of the patron mail came back. No, so far none of it's come back, but I am expecting at least one back because it's got the wrong address on it, so. Anyway, if it doesn't come back soon, I'll just send her another one. All right, that's it for the minute, I think. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm gonna shout out a business. If you're in the Tualatin area of Oregon, Tualatin Shoe Repair, little small mom and pop place. He fixed my shoes while I waited. He was only gonna charge 15 bucks. I gave him a tip, like, I've got other shoes that either need stretching or need fixing at home. Uh, these were the easiest of the lot. So he did a great job on these. I, I think I'm gonna have him fix the other ones. All right, I'll be back. When I was at the thrift store this morning, I not only found some really cool drinking glasses, a style of which I've been looking for for a while. Um, I also found this, this paper sorter thing. Um, 
which is a great color for my art room. I love that color. And I kind of needed something to hold all of this stuff at that end of my table. And it was the right price. And it got senior discount. So there's that. I put away a big stack of coffee dyed in distressed papers just now. And I've got a few more that are still drying. I'll turn the light off. Went around and refilled and cleaned out all of my containers for paint water um, and dirty paint, dirty brushes. I have the one jar for dirty brushes. I got ready to film a, we're all ready to film another messy journaler episode. There's a sneak peek of pieces and parts. I also need to film another artsy trio. I can't show you the other side yet. Um, hey, we're headed out to go get some steps in. I haven't gotten much done except a little cleaning upstairs in the art room and of course all the errands. That's a big thing. Today's day has become errand day. Um, hang on. I can't do two things at once anymore. My brain just doesn't work that way. Must make sure I like the house. <laughs> anyway, my knee's been bothering me. For those that don't know, I have a bad knee. I have a torn meniscus. Among other things, I have the softening of the cartilage disease. I don't know what it's called. I can't ever remember. Anyway, I've got my fun accessory on because, yeah, my knee's been bothering me. It's not going to stop me from walking. I just can't go as fast. Anyway, I can't run. <laughs> I can't run for so many reasons, not just the knee. I just can't run. Anyway, it's not really raining, at least not yet. We got their don't squish me straps. I've got a flashlight in my pocket. Cough drop in my mouth. Let's go get some steps in. I'll be back. I miss the ducks. They flew right overhead, but I couldn't whip the phone out fast enough. You probably can hear them very faintly in the background. Anyway, and yes, it's dark out. I'll lighten this clip up in the video editor, but yeah, I'll be back. Yeah. I'll lighten up the clip, especially this one of my face. More birds. All the ducks are swim swimming for the... Swimming? Swimming. Oh, flying. <laughs> flying towards the reservoir, I think, so they can go for a swim. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so we have a reservoir uh, not too far from here. Uh protected uh, part of the wetlands and um, this time of year all the birds hang out over there at least until it gets icy anyway oh. walking in the middle of the street in the dark because that's smart all right I'll be back before you get hit by a car I better pay attention to what I'm doing hey guys it's 108 p.m. Wednesday November 3rd and I just realized I haven't vlogged today oops uh, I got up this morning um, with the intention of catching up on some drawing, which I've done, um, getting some work done for in preparation for filming the next Artsy Trio video, which this next month is going to be my mood board. And I have some sort of experimenting I want to do. And things are drying in that regard. Uh, I also tried to upload more video to the new YouTube channel, but it hasn't been long enough time yet, so it won't let me... <laughs> I'm gonna just wait until tomorrow and then I can do like 15 videos a day or something. I don't know. 256 gigabytes, 12 hours max. Something like that. Anyway, I'll work on more tomorrow. Manana. Um, so fun fact. So since we had massive deadness in the woods next door, and if you don't know what I'm referring to, um, we had a deer um, pass away in the woods next to our house. I don't know what they died of, if it was natural cause, causes or if they were attacked by coyotes or maybe hit by a car and then came over here to die. Um, but they did uh, feel safe enough to come do that right next to my house, which in theory I'm okay with till it starts smelling bad. Anyway, it was a long story. We took a little bit, but we got it taken care of. And since that happened, we've had some deer come back Mostly we have coyotes, lots of coyotes, like every single day. 
It's crazy. Uh, here is some ring video footage of last night's coyote who was just having a good old time relaxing in our driveway evidently. So anyway, there's something about uh, coyotes being your spirit animal and it being good luck. Uh, hold on one second, let's see. Because I Googled it this morning. Um, the coyote totem is a good luck symbol for those who need to rely on their wits in order to handle a changing situation and other difficulty. That coyote is here to remind you that you, that you, if you, that if you, blah, blah, blah. The coyote, coyote is here to remind you that you, even if you don't feel it, you actually have capacity to handle any situation you find yourself in. And it is a cunning and clever animal. Seeing a coyote is often a symbol of mental growth. It's a sign that you're beginning to observe your life from another perspective. If you're under stress or you're worrying too much, seeing a coyote is a spiritual message that you need to adjust or evolve. It's good, I think. It's been happening a lot since massive deadness, which was well before my mother passed away, but it has been happening since my mom passed away too. So I guess it's a good thing. Maybe it's not, I don't know. What do you all think? Leave something down below. All right, anyway, I am catching up on my drawing. I'm waiting for one to dry, the watercolory part to dry so I can add some more marks to it. Um, patrons and supporters get first look at the sketchbook before I put them on social media. So if you want to first look at stuff like that, go join Patreon. It's very cheap. My patrons, Patreon is very cheap. Anyway, and I occasionally send you snail mail or digital downloads or something. I have a bunch of new designs that I need to finish drawing and send some over. Anyway, that's it for the minute, I think. I feel like there's something okay. else. I decided to go out and get the mail. Um, got some more sketching done. <laughs> Talking to my sister Karen about some creative stuff. She saw this really cute TikTok about a scarf that when you roll it up, looks like a sushi roll. That, that shit's cute. I don't need another scarf, but that's cute. Um, anyway, yes, she's also a creative. She does TikTok. Um, we're all creative, like, have a, we grew up with aunts on both sides of the family who were creatives, uh, both of whom went to school for that, one of whom is gone now, and grandmothers who uh, did different things, my dad's mom especially, she was a needlework, what I would now call a needlework artist. Um, she did a lot of hand stitching. If it was involving a needle and thread, 
or hooks and yarn or she knew how to do it. Um, tatting, all of it. I don't know how to tat. I wish I had learned. Uh, anyway. So Karen, yeah, she's creative too. She's going to be working on some acrylic pours this afternoon, I think. Anyway. Uh, my knee's feeling okay. I do still have my brace on. I'm going to be wearing it for a while. It doesn't seem to be getting any worse, which is usually standard modus operandi for me. Uh, and as long as it doesn't get worse, it's fine. Uh, seems to be getting slightly better. Of course, I might just be thinking optimistically, but we're going to be babying it for a good while, at least a week or so. And if it doesn't get better, I guess I'll have to go in. I don't want a cortisone shot. <laughs> I really don't. Anyway. All right. That's it for the minute. I've got to do my word brain puzzles. I've got to keep the old noggin sharp, right? So I've got to do my word brain puzzles while I'm waiting for Bob to get off work, and then we can go walking. I think that's how that's going to work. I'll be back. Hey guys, I really, really, really need to see if I can replace the light part of the ceiling fan in this room. It is so yellow and it's an LED light, but yeah, anyway, how are you today? It is 9.38 a.m. Thursday, November 4th. Um, obviously we're upstairs at the art, in the art room at the desk. Behind me, the computer is loading a few more video to the new YouTube channel. I can only do a few a day, very few and I reached my limit pretty quickly, evidently. So I guess it's just gonna take me a long time to get all the video up there for you patrons and supporters, so sorry. Um, but I do have stuff I wanna do up here. So I've been doing vision boards all year, and um, I've been doing them in this moleskin notebook. I'm not sure why I chose this notebook to start out with. Um, I have no idea. I am thinking to stop or to do a few more and then stop because the I'll show you why. So I already expanded the spine once because and now it looks like this. And I have to go tape a few sections because despite me expanding it, it's starting to do, see that? Yeah. And so I'm gonna put some tape in there. I, I may, it's also getting too big to kind of do downstairs and kind of unwieldy. So I think at the very least, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just do the rest of the vision boards, um, maybe this afternoon, and just get it finished and completed and take pictures of them and then share them periodically between now and the end of the year. Um, because that just makes sense. I do sort of want it as a reference book to like go and look back at. And so, um, and I do like the idea, but a year of vision boards, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a lot of vision boards. Uh, so anyway, uh, but it did get me to use up a lot of bits and pieces. So I am also going to, because I don't think I'm gonna do this journal downstairs anymore, Sorry, your the cam the phone is like precariously perched, and every time I like move, it like shakes. Sorry, um, I'm gonna take my tools and ephemera box that usually lives downstairs, and I'm going to sort of clean it out and maybe add a few new things to it. But some of the stuff that's in here is for the vision board, so I'm gonna take those things out and use them up, um, and then replace them with other stuff. So I'm gonna get going, and I'll be back.
Folks, it is another cloudy, rainy day in Oregon. Welcome to the land of much water, many bridges, and no direct route to anywhere. Uh, anyway, yes, we're in the car. We are headed to the beach. It's going to be rainy, cloudy, stormy. Do we care? It's the beach. It's the beach. We don't care. So we're going to go spend the weekend at the beach. Don't have a problem telling you all that because by the time you see this, we'll be back. Um, and anyway, we're going to go have some fun and hang out at the beach. The car is full. Probably we overpacked, but you know, that's what happens when we drive instead of fly. So anyway, we are going. It is 11.30ish a.m. November 6th, Saturday. We are in Cannon Beach, Oregon. It's just a little windy, you know. But stormy days at the beach, still a good day at the beach. Hang on, I'll show you. It is king tide, so super high tide, so we can't get too close. But yeah, hold on. So do you all hear that? It's hail. Hail. Oh, hail. hail. It is hailing so hard. We're outside Rag and Bone in Seaside. Really cute little um, junk shop. Um, I'd recommend going there. They have a great selection of stuff, but allow yourself some time because you gotta look around. Anyway, we almost got stuck in there because, yeah. All right, I'll be back. walking. It's about 6.30. Oh my god, is it windy? Go 
The ocean's right over there. Kids are back at the beach house. They're like, no, we're not coming. We've had a good week. Ending it on a good note. We've had a good one too. You, of course, are seeing this. You're seeing the light version of this lighting wise because this is really dark. Anyway. Check out the video description and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.